had never started a major college football game before. Virginia Tech went to a bowl last year and returned four starters on a defense that ranked third overall last season. But what a difference a year makes. The University of Cincinnati versus Virginia Tech next on the Dave Curry Show. Channel 5 Sports presents an inside look at Bearcat football with University of Cincinnati head football coach Dave Curry. The Dave Curry Show, brought to you by Pepsi-Cola, General Bottles of Cincinnati, and by Cincinnati Gas and Electric, the energy service company, and by Central Trust, your financial center, and by Provident Travel, managing travel everywhere under the sun. Good morning and welcome to the 1985 edition of the Dave Curry Show. I'm Mike Greta, and Dave, I guess congratulations in order. A big 31-14 win last night over Virginia Tech. Well, Mike, it was a big win, and it was a great way to start off our season, and uh, of course now we, we want to build on it. Dave, before we take a look here at the uh, second half, or the first half highlights, rather, I just want to mention a couple things you said during your press conference on Tuesday. You said that you were kind of worried about the youth of the Bearcats. 16 of the 22 uh, starters had never started a major college football game. Tech was the first of six bowl teams you'd be facing. They were third in the nation in defense last year, total defense, second in scoring defense. But most of all, I think you were encouraged because you had a good feeling about the spirit and the togetherness of this 1985 Bearcat football team. Well, it's a brand new season, and we had a great camp uh, coming in for two-a-day practices. Uh, we've got some young people that have brought in a spirit. We've got some leadership on our team, and I think it uh, made a combination of a great effort last night. Well, let's take a look now at that great effort. First half highlights we go, and uh, when we come up on those highlights, we'll see UT with a big play on the first series, it appears. Tech's Todd Greenwood to throw, and it looked like a fumble here, Coach. Well, then there's the beginning of a turnover, and uh, our defense played so well all night. Uh, they caused three turnovers that first quarter, and we went and turned. Here's a great effort by Delano Kelly blocking the punt. And this gave us a big shot in the arm, good field position. And Brad Notacker uh, recovers that fumble. So you took over on the 20-yard line, and Reggie picks up, Reggie Taylor picks up where he left off last year. This is uh, Reggie around the right side. Now and McCoy comes back to pass, and uh, here's a great catch by Reggie Taylor. This is important to, the, to uh, connect on our first pass. Reggie just doing it all uh, last night, a big leader. There he goes down to the goal line. Uh, he's on the one-inch line, and Dan McCoy now will sneak, quarterback sneak the ball in for our first score of 85. And I believe that's Dan McCoy's first touchdown of his college career. Five plays, 20 yards, and uh, very quickly, UC is in the lead, 7-0 in the first quarter. Virginia Tech, though, on the move, and another big play by the defense, one of many to come on the night. Well, we have two fine defensive ends, uh, J.H. Caldwell and Andre Jackson. You can see Jackson coming around, causing the fumble there. And Noble was there to recover that fumble, Terry Noble. And so you take over on your own 30, and Reggie here off the left side for 29 yards. Well, there was uh, Jason Sargell on the left side uh, uh, making a good block, and Reggie goes around for a good gainer. Well, that drive stalled, and Tech took over, but another fumble, and Andre... Jackson there again. Well, I might remind you that it was Andre who recovered it, and he's a defensive end. You're going to notice here defensively we're really running to the football. Now we're back in offense. And he took over there on your own 42, and after a 10-yard penalty, puts on the 30 through a little screen to Reggie. The screen pass to the right. That's right. Now we come back, and here's a good hook up here. This is freshman Roosevelt Muse catches his first college pass. Nice to get him involved in the offense because he's an exciting player. Here's another freshman, Scott Tackett, that played well all night. Now that was a loss on the play, but it was encouraging because he held onto the ball after a hard hit, and so you settle for a 40-yard field goal by Paul Baroni. It's uh, Robert Baroni, and it is his, his first major <laughs> college field goal, and it was a 40-yard hit that went through the upright. And it was 10 to nothing, and then Tech back on offense, and Richard Rhodes makes a nice play here on the pass. Well, Richard started the strong safety. He's never played there before and uh, knocked the ball down, and again, you see our defense running. This play kind of interesting because I believe Al McKinney, the heralded freshman, really wanted to get off to a good start and maybe just a bit too anxious. I think the main thing here is Dan Sellers making a great effort to recover that ball. And uh, Al McKinney later on in the game made a great catch on a punt. 
and he's going to be a fine athlete at UC. Well, UC couldn't move the ball, and they were forced to punt, and good punt coverage here. Well, look at the coverage here, and it's uh, Preston makes a great tackle, and uh, John Lewis came down and forced the uh, receiver to run to the wide side of the field. Now, as we go to the second quarter, isn't this a great Noble. interception yeah, by Noble. Noble? That's right. Perry came back again, started the corner back spot, and then made big plays. Our defense made big plays all night here. So you take over, and you guys are moving again, and McCoin just showing a lot of poise tonight. Here he tries to hook up with Stargo, but uh, the interception. Well, the call here happened, interference happened early. They pushed off on Stargo. Ball was underthrown, and we got the pass interference. So that play was a 15-yard penalty in college football, and then the Gibbs attack it up the middle. This was uh, Taylor up the middle and tackled by a, a bunch of Virginia Tech people. Here's Tackett making a fine catch. Here's a bootleg here, and look at McCoy's poise. And this is Greg Latham, the tight end over the middle. McCoy again back to throw, and look at him sidestep here and find all the way back across is another freshman, Joe Height. Now it was a first down, so you go first and goal from the eight. Taylor pops this into the zone zone. We had a holding penalty. The nice thing about this play is that even though it was a penalty, we came right back and scored in the next play with Dan McCoy throwing here as he steps up and finds Jason Starge on the back of the end zone. That's important, important for a young quarterback and a young team to be able to bounce back like that. Nine plays, 69 yards, and suddenly, Coach, you're 17 nothing. Well, our defense is beginning to uh, gel again here. As you see, we come down and they pop one into the end zone, but you notice they were taking uh, six, seven minutes to get these drives going, so this is Virginia Tech's first touchdown. And that was Todd Greenwood going in. It was 17 to seven at the half. And uh, if you look at the first half statistics, uh, everything except for the score was in Virginia Tech's favor. Well, I think the important thing here is the name of the game is turnovers. Not only the fact our defense caused the turnovers, but we capitalized scoring twice on three, in, on three uh, fumbles. Rushy Taylor getting most of that 69 yards on the ground. Danny McCoy, no interceptions. Uh, that's uh, got to be encouraging. It is encouraging, and that's something that we've been working hard on, and, and Dan McCoy has done a good job in that area so far. Now, total offense, uh, Tech again in the lead, but uh, possession time as well. I think turnovers, though, when you guys recovered a couple of Virginia Tech uh, fumbles, uh, that got you going in the interception. The kicking game, and what a difference it does make, and uh, that was uh, the name of the game in the first quarter. Okay, well, things are looking good at the half. You're up 17 to 7. So what do you go in the locker room? What do you tell them? Well, I think our football team had a good feeling about themselves. They went into the locker room with a feeling like, hey, we can play with these guys. And we talked about uh, a few adjustments defensively. Uh, we continue to emphasize of running to the football and making big plays happen. Offensively, not turning the ball over and showing a lot of poise. And then some of us were excited about the score. We didn't want to come back out. But uh, you're going to find a young, excited football team came out and uh, the third quarter has a good message. Okay, well, with the score 17 to seven at the half, let's take a break, and we'll be back in a moment with those second half highlights. Stay with us. And welcome back to the Dave Curry Show. Dave, your team up 17 to seven at the, at the half, so let's take a look now at the second half highlights, and things were to get a little testy early for the Bearcats in the third quarter. The Bearcats got the ball first, McCoyne here goes to Roosevelt Mukes again for 10 yards. We came out the second half and we needed to move the football and you'll notice we put a pretty good drive down. But as we go down the field, here's a fine hook up here. This is Joe Heist, again a freshman. Makes a good gainer. That was a third and 11 play. That's right. Here's Reggie on a quick reverse. McCoyne talks to the guy, <laughs> doesn't block him. But look at Reggie, just bouncing off people right and left. And then maybe the freshman, Scott Tackett, learned a lesson here about getting stripped of the ball. Well, they took it away from him, and this was a turnover that we didn't want to happen. And uh, this puts our backs against the wall. Now we're doing what Virginia Tech did the first half. So it's third and three, and you get good penetration, and the defense holds for well, a fourth a, and one play. A great play by Noble there. Excellent tackle and great people running the ball. But fourth and one, they do convert. And that so they have first down now and goal to go. They pop this in. Now, you'll see that ball pop out a little bit. I'm not sure. The official told me it crossed the plane of the goal line, which gives them a touchdown. 17 to 14. Now, were you a little worried there, Coach? Well, the tide is turning, but this is a fine drive now. This will be an 80-yard drive, and I think it was the class of the offensive show of the evening. Third and three here. Reggie with a good effort. The big first down. 
Now McCoy is uh, handing to Reggie on a draw play. Reggie just keeps popping and running north and south. Now a fellow who had a big third quarter for you was Matt Daniels. Well, Matt came into the game and uh, made three big plays. And of course, here's his first reception as a UC Bearcat. And then McCoyne, uh, he's going to step up in the pocket here. Well, he finds, uh, once again, Greg Latham in the end zone. And a uh, great throw, great catch. That was a secondary receiver that uh, uh, our quarterback found. Really encouraging because they came back with a nice 10-play, 80-yard drive to make the score 24-14. And then your defense took over. Well, now we got, you notice there's five and six black jerseys around them. And our two defensive ends, again, Caldwell and Jackson, making great plays. Now the fumble's forced here, and J.H. Caldwell picks it up. J.H. Freshman Caldwell, I might add. And uh, of course, Alec uh, Gordon played so well all night. Tony Ketchings at the linebacker. Bob Leshnick at the middle linebacker. So now we go to the fourth quarter, and Reggie reels off 18. He just knows where the goal line is, doesn't he? Got a big nose for it, 136 yards rushing. This was an important uh, series here to get the ball in the end zone. We're down there now, it's inches. And Dan will turn and pitch to Reggie, and he'll walk in in the corner. So now it's 31-14. It's pretty much sealed up. That drive, five plays, 26 yards. And it's up to the defense now to be tough, and that's exactly what they were. I think the point to be made here now, the rest of the game, the defense was on the field so long all night. And they kept running for the ball. And watch Rob Niehoff jump in front of here and intercept. That's his first reception of the year. And again, the defense makes a big play and gets us a turnover. Always pressuring the quarterback, it seems. Well, these guys here, Andre Jackson, again, makes a shoestring tackle, and that was a big play. And then with time running out, Tech just trying to get on the board one more time, but this ice is it fourth and three. It's incomplete. Boyd Jackson, a fine play by Boyd. And uh, again, I can't say enough about our, our defensive effort in terms of running to the football. So as time ticks off, UC wins 31 to 14.